Hello there, Ray here, and this is not the rarest mob in Minecraft, but instead it is this crazy looking mob. Out of all the individual mobs in the game of Minecraft, the rarest mobs to spawn in naturally are the jockeys. If we ignore mobs that could only be obtained in older versions, the jockeys that we are left with are these. But the chicken jockeys have the most variations out of them all. Chicken jockeys can even spawn on top of striders, but the chicken will fall off. But as the saying goes, the devil is in the details. To get this rare mob, you would first have to find a village. But not any old village, it has to be an abandoned village, which is only a 2% chance of all villages. But not any ordinary abandoned village, it has to be one that's right beside a jungle and actually goes into the jungle, which is only a 1% chance. And you would have to enter this at night because some of the houses in this place, instead of having villagers, have zombie villagers. And these guys have a special tag which prevents them from ever despawning and you cannot get this persistence required tag any other way on villager zombies. This is the same thing that is used to prevent witches from despawning before you get close to the witch hut or drowns from despawning from ocean runes but only some of the houses will generate with these guys inside. But we can't just use any guy we need one that was actually generated inside of a jungle biome because unlike normal villages that spread into jungles the actual villagers keep their old biome type and they don't switch over to jungle. The villager zombies are unique in that they actually keep the specific biome that they were generated in with the typical five types of villages we'd only get five biome types of the villagers but using this trick of mine we can now also get swamp as well as jungle villager zombies with the jungle being the rarest but it can't be an adult it has to be a baby five percent more rare but that's not good enough it has to be a baby on a chicken an additional five percent more rare now this is where things get really strange. Now you have to use a weakness potion and a golden apple to convert this guy over into a villager. And a change made to villagers and zombies mean they will no longer get kicked off whatever they're riding. So when it does convert over, the little villager is still going to be riding the chicken. And Slim Jim show me this cool trick. Look at the little guy go. Now this is the proper way to move villagers. Now all we have to do is wait for this little guy to grow up and he will still be on the chicken. Now if we place down a workstation near him, he will convert over into a armorer. Now, fun aside, we need to trade with this guy and open up all of his trades, all in hopes to get the special 6 trades out of the 14 random possibilities. I can tell that you enjoy learning about rare things in Minecraft, so make sure you're subscribed as well as have that bell turned on, as I have spent the last 12 years finding rares and sharing them here. With the trading complete and that 8% look, it will look like this. But that's not good enough, you actually need the villager to sell the last 4 items for their lowest price possible, each having a 1 in 14 chance of doing this, which is this insanely rare. On top of that, each of the items he sells is actually enchanted with a level 19 enchantment so they need to be the rarest types of enchantments as well as levels and order and the chance of this happening to all four of these is this insanely low probability but there could be a even more rare combination that we have yet to find if you thought this was difficult so far this is only the beginning because next you have to convert this guy back into a villager zombie now we have this big zombie riding this chicken which looks really funny for the job edition but very scary if you're in survival. But we just don't want any ordinary zombie. We want one that is a leader zombie, which is only a 5% chance. And with these, when punched, they will summon in more zombies. With his super leader powers, it can have as much as 100 health, but it's really rare. But what is even more rare is him having maxed out distance for tracking the player. It also needs to have the 1% chance of being a door breaking zombie. But if the zombie can actually pick up items, it makes it 40% more rare. On top of that, if it uses its left hand to hold the item, it's even more rare. But we actually want our guy to be holding a weapon which is only a 5% chance and its options for weapons are either a iron shovel or an iron sword and for it to be a sword is another additional 33% but we can't have them just spawn in with any old iron sword it has to be one that's enchanted and those enchantments their levels and their order is the rarest possible given that mobs can only have a max of 22 levels in order to enchant something these aren't the highest level enchantments that he could get but they are the most unlikely being sweeping 2 loot 1 fire aspect 1 and breaking 2 knockback 2 makes the probability of it having the sword astronomical. On top of everything, when he's converted from a villager into a zombie, he needs to also immediately have the best armor possible. An iron sword is the best that the game will naturally put onto a mob, but for armor, it can actually go all the way up to diamond. Just for mobs to spawn in with armor is a 15% on hard difficulty. Then it chooses the actual armor type, so it could choose like leather, iron, chain, gold, and even diamonds. Diamonds being the rarest at only 0 0.0004, and whatever armor piece it does put on is all going to be exactly the same. So if it chooses diamond, it's then going to choose how many pieces of diamonds it should put onto the mob, with 4 being the rarest around 73%. Then the game will start down at the boots and ask the question, should there be enchantments on them? There's a 50% chance it will say yes, 
And then they'll get an enchantment. The actual enchantment put on the boots is equivalent to level 22 putting it inside of an enchanting table. But since we want the rarest mob, we want to have the rarest enchantments as well as levels of those enchantments and the actual order in which they show up. The rarest combination that we currently know of is Depth Strider 2, Feather Falling 2, Breaking 2, as well as Blast 2. The chance that these enchantments would appear on a naturally spawned mob is very low. The game then moves to the pants, deciding if it should be enchanted, which is another 50%. It also throws the legs into a chanting table with only 22 levels to use, where we choose the rarest combination of being Unbreaking 2 as well as Blast 2. Then it moves to the chest plate, where it has another 50% chance of being enchanted. And once again, we're hoping to get the rarest enchantments, being Thorns 1, Unbreaking 2, as well as Blast 2. Lastly, it will decide if it should enchant the helm slot, where once again we want the rarest being Respiration 2, Aqua Affinity, Unbreaking 2, and Blast Protection 2. This enchantment combination was calculated by G. Nico and is currently the rarest that we know of, but it's definitely possible that there is a rarer one. Now, the actual durability on any of his gear doesn't matter because that's not actually calculated until the mob dies and the loot's actually dropped. So if we multiply all of the different percentages that went into making this mob, it comes out to this insanely, insanely small probability. That's a zero dot with 97 zeros and then 149, or equivalent to one in a 66 followed by 97 six zeros. But in the beginning of the video, I said that this guy was actually the rarest mob in Minecraft. To get this guy, we would actually need the game to choose to put on only three pieces of diamond armor, not the helmet, which is 81%. And then after I applied the boots, leggings, and chest plate, but skipped over the helmet, it would then check to see if you're playing on October 31st, the day of Halloween. If your computer's clock was set to this time, it would then have a 22.5% chance of getting a pumpkin onto undead mobs that spawn in naturally. And rarely would it decide to put on a jack-o'-lantern, being only 2.5%. And because pumpkins don't work in enchanting tables, they would never be given enchantments for these mobs. But because the pumpkin calculations are done after the armor, it does mean that you can have pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns on a mob that also has armor. But because when you're in survival, you can't tell exactly all the different traits that a mob has, especially a lot of those tags that you can't visually see or test. This is a naturally spawned in pink sheep, and if I do F3 plus I, that's normally how you can copy all the details, including tags, if you have cheats on. But if you're playing survival, you wouldn't have it on, so what do you actually end up about the information about the sheep is only that it's a sheep and where exactly it's standing. Now if I do this with cheats on, and I go ahead and paste the information. You can see we get tons of information which we can actually use to determine how rare this is. This same thing applies to the zombies. It's very difficult to tell exactly what type of enchantments are on them. You can check for like thorns and fire aspect, but for the rest you really just don't know unless you use third party programs. And therefore if you see this mob compared to seeing one with a diamond helmet that just has some enchantment on it, you don't know what type it is, Statistically, this is going to be more rare because the helmet has an unknown enchantment. And on top of that, this can only be acquired during Halloween, which is just one day out of the year. But no matter helmet or jack-o'-lantern, these guys are so much more rare than your typical diamond zombie jockey. And that's because these guys have to be acquired from an abandoned village, which is only a limited number of those per world. So once you have checked them all, you're just out of luck and you will never get this mob on your world. You can calculate your very own rare mobs using this calculator that I made. Link will be in the description. You just have to go to file and make a copy of it and then you can change all these parameters and see how rare it actually is. Big thanks to everybody here who helped with this document from the math calculations to code reading and much more. Now subscribe and like and check out these two crazy playlists. One that goes over all the different types of rare mobs that you can get in Minecraft and the other goes over all the different types of rare blocks and items that can be collected. I would like to thank all you guys for watching and have a happy hunting. Bye bye!